la 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 la. Hello and welcome to Jeebus Adventures and this is Tech It Tuesday. This is where we tour your bases and check out your homes and see what you've been up to and what you've been building. And today we are starting off with Megatech. Now he's a player that we probably know the name of by now if you haven't heard of me saying his name already. But he built some pretty damn cool looking stuff and you can see this thing will be no exception. I haven't been inside yet but I am reassured that there is a way in. Um, I do have trouble finding, finding entrances and doors quite a lot so that's a good job as a sign there because I'd give up and bash a hole in the wall I'm sure. Um, let's just fly around here a little bit and see what we can see on the outside. It looks pretty damn good though doesn't it? It looks kind of um, church like actually. Very sort of cathedrally, but almost medieval as well. But it's the the black brick is is a nice touch. The basalt. Let's uh, let's have a look up here then. I can't actually see any doors anywhere around this whole flying around the side. Um, so either he's lying and it's a massive troll, or I gotta go in through the bell tower. So I think I'm probably gonna do that. By the way, the bell tower. Very cool. Look at that bell. I'm freezing. That's that's really well done. Very nice. I'm pleased with that. Very impressed. So we, we can get in here. Um, some sandstone in here now. Not. Especially that. Oh, a sign. What's the sign say? The sign. Oh, there's a zombie as well. Sign says there was a lever here. Does that mean I should put one there? Hmm. I don't want to break it and put down a lever. But, oh, there's a lever over there. It's dead. And, like opposite side with a sign that says totally not a secret. All right. Uh, okay. So that's the middle. I hoped it would be. Was it the middle? It wasn't middle. Oh my goodness. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Uh, wow. That's cool. What's in this? Oh my goodness. There's Quartz, a book, some rum, and some humor. Let's read the book then. I got a collection of books here, haven't I? All right. So what does it say? Hi, I see you found my book slash Easter egg. Uh, this book have no use really, just being there and look nice. I will make some of these till the world dies or whatever happens. I hope you like the build. P.S. I'm st still challenging you on survival games, dude. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's not much way to challenge that. It wouldn't be much of a challenge at all, would it? Quartz crystals and you, matter. That's ah, very nice. Oh, I'm take that. I don't know if it's for me, but I'm taking it because I could use the quartz. But there we go. I've also got some rum. I think we should go outside and enjoy this. So, what's inside here then? There's, like, surely there's a lot of the building that I can't see here? Or is it hollow in the side? It's very cool in here. This must take taken ages to do. My god. I'm not, oh. So, I guess it's not really like a house, a base that he's built here. It's not a, not a, a home to live in. It's more of a, a treat for. For players to discover, so it's it's less of a um, something that's going to be usable and, and and whatever, but more of a someone walking around and looking at it. And say, oh my god, look at this cool building! And you you pop through the thing at the top and pull the lever, and you get some rum. So that's very cool. It's it's a uh, it's very aesthetically pleasing. I think the phrasing is the word it, there. It, it looks very cool. So these all these little twiddly bits. I've said before these little touches that I I I don't um, have any sort of inclination to do them. I always forget, and it just, it just doesn't occur to me. And and this kind of thing that obviously from second nature it looks very very cool and there we have it that's Megatex um, easter egg base and I'll drink this rum to what I do mmm delicious rum and a free mug too I can't tell what my boosts are here because I've got the I'm in creative mode but it was delicious 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 rum but I saved it so I've got some more rum as well <laughs> and moving on to another player now called Techit1564 that's right, his name is Techit, so he clearly likes the mod pack, so we should see some good stuff here. He's got two areas saved as homes in his um, home list, I suppose, but uh, the second one is the one we're going to really enjoy seeing here, I'm sure. This is the first one. This is like sort of the older base, I think. I don't know what's going on with these. Um, so I'm going to look around this first, because it's the, the original one, I think. It's where he's built his little little places here. Um, not all of this might be Techit's. I think some of it might be somebody else's, too, because he did share with a couple of people for a little while, I believe. Um, what is down here? Do they just do... Oh, they do loops! Oh, that's a nice touch, isn't it? See, well, touches. This, I think, was a, a farm, a Steve Cart's farm. And it would go around and planting stuff in the tilled grass area. Then it goes underground and loops back. Oh, there he is. Can you go back up there? Do you, do you keep moving? You keep moving. Oh, he's actually powered, too. Is he powered? He is. Oh, well, that's good. He, what was he doing down there, then? Was he unloading stuff for a chest, perhaps? Ah, he was at a waiting rail, but nothing was happening, so he stopped. But I'm moving him on now. <laughs> Damn it, it's still going, sorry. But there you go, so we'll do all this stuff. And you proceed around and go underground to complete the circuit. I would never have thought of that. I'd have just done it on top. But it looks nice, that, doesn't it? Like, two sort of strips and then hiding the, the loopy bits. Very cool. And But yes, this is something I want to point out from players who are building on this server. Um, a lot of players focus on the machines and the stuff in the mod pack to get as advanced as they can, to get the high-end materials. Uh, and that's fine, that's what a lot of players do, that's totally cool, you want to just build a, a big building and just get everything done as fast as you can and get all the all the required things in the mod pack, that's cool. Um, but 
focus on your builds too. I mean, look at these. These are just quite simple looking buildings, but they're very nice looking buildings. The detail in it's just the sort of simple edges. This is quite reminiscent of my little farmhouse actually. Mine's obviously a bit bigger and a lot crappier. This is this is very nicely done. But all these little places, all these nice little touches, the little designs and the buildings, like this one over here. Again, it's a fairly simple shape as such, but it's got nice touches like the little overhanging part with the farm underneath. And this is obviously an older building, so it's been a bit destroyed since, but it looks like a nice touch. No, I'll turn the light on and get myself a lever. Turn on the lights. Ta-da! See, nice touches, the nice little things. What what you don't want to try and do is what this player over here did. This player is no longer plays on the server anymore, he's completely gone. But he was a very advanced player, he had a lot of resources, a lot of materials. But he lived in a big black box. Honest to God. This was his entire base. It was just one gigantic big black box. And he had just had corners of machines, you know, big machine in the corner, set of machines on the wall. It was it worked fine. It was it was it was very efficient. But it just looks like a big black box. I mean, that's not something you want to talk. That's not something someone wants to look around and say, oh, let me see your base. It's just a big black box. Literally a big black box. This whole uh, roof was covered in solar panels with MFSUs all filling in the inside of it. It was efficient. It was very space saving. But it just looks like a big black box where you could have this kind of build here or over there or this kind of thing. This, these ones were from a different player to this one. These ones take it and that one was somebody else. Um, so you can see the difference in builds. This player may not be as advanced. I don't know. I haven't seen any machines. This is an old base. The machines are moving, I think. Um, but I definitely enjoy walking around it a hell of a lot more. So yeah, as you can see, where it's definitely is an old base. It's cleaned out now. Everything's all gone. But you can see the design of the builds. I just wanted to show off the kind of things that they did look like before, what things looked like and what the buildings he had were like. And they're nice. The little rooms, the sections, I guess this was a maybe a farm too? I don't know. What's down here? Is this a mine? I'm really not sure. I haven't been down here at all. Mob spawning area, almost one at all times. I guess mobs... I assume they spawn down there in the darkness and then and then you're going to go battle them more. I'm not sure what that was, but it's a, it's a cool warning at the sign itself. I like people put signs to warn about things. It's, it makes it feel like a, like a company and a business and industries and things. And then even an underwater bit over here too, just looking out into the sea. See, my kind of building, a very nice design in this. Oh, there's a door there. i got to open the door just out of my own curiosity. I'm stuck. What is in the door? Probably just a cupboard under the stairs like friggin' Harry Potter's house. What's this? I don't know. Going in. I'm going in. Let's... Yeah, it's a cover of the stairs. That's what I thought it'd be. <laughs> I had to check. I had to know. My curiosity got the better of me. But now that we've seen most of the older place that I used to live in, let's check out the current place. This is the whole reason I wanted to come here. This is fantastic. You may have seen this before on the uh, the Ticket Tuesday teaser video. Um, look at this lovely building. It is just so articulate. It looks like he's moving in now. When I first saw it, there was nothing inside it. It was a hollow building. And last time I spoke to Techie, actually, um, he did say that this building wasn't ready to be seen yet, but it looks like he's filling... Oh, God. Leave it. <laughs> it looks like he's filling in some of the rooms now with, with machines and things, so I think it's probably reached the point where I can tour it and know that I'm not sort of spoiling it. And he's even got a painting of me on the wall, my very own sign picture of the creator, Sweet Jeebus. That's that's me. The reactor room. Oh, hello. If Jeebus ever stops them exploding and unbans them. Oh, right, okay, yeah. <clears throat> this is where the, the nuclear reactor is going to be. Um, I can't stop exploding. If the, the, the reactors can blow up, that's the fact, so they had to be stopped, unfortunately. When I mean, people started actually. People started making this high-end reactor, like a nuclear reactor. People, people would spend enough time to build that, just to place it by someone's base and, and detonate it. It was so stupid. Why did people do that? I never thought that'd be an issue, but unfortunately, people started doing it, so they had to go. I'm, I'm very sorry about that. Uh, what do we have here? This is just machines. They're all rigged up by ME systems, so they can be used um, autonomously and remotely. We've got a storage area, I guess with deep storage units, I suppose. Uh, oh, all rigged together with an ender chest. How does that work? Oh, that's clever. Okay, cool. What have we got through this more card? More pictures in the walls, very nice touches. Uh, this is, oh, this is the main room, I guess. This is the screen area where you get to look at everything you've got. How cool is that? I love those screens. I'm looking forward to doing them myself. It's, uh, oh god, there's so many corridors around here. Um, this is the back door. I guess let's have another look around the building because this, look, this looks so cool from the outside. Oh, such a good place. I even love, right, I'm um, spoiling a bit here, going a bit further ahead, but underneath here, there's like a sort of gated area that goes through the water, just so that the river doesn't cut off, it just flows underneath the corner of it. Really cool. The river doesn't go anywhere as far as I can tell, but it's good that he didn't just block it off with dirt, he actually used it in the build. It's a real nice touch, very clever. But heading back in, what else do we have in here then? These rooms actually have purposes now. It's a, I'm glad that I waited a bit, because otherwise it would have all been empty with just rotten flesh in the corners. A bit awkward, but a lot of them would have empty before, now most of them have got stuff in a garage! Actually got a garage! That's where the garage door's over there, where you can see from the outside, there's actually got a garage door. Um, Oh, well, oh my god, this is a big hole! With... Let's see if we can do it. a diamond chest full of shit. Uh, what is this? Oh. 
What a mysterious little room there. I have no idea what's going on with that. Let's go to the top quickly. Get out. Yeah, we've escaped. So he's also got, you can see a Tesla coil right in the middle of the <coughs> of the, uh, the whole parking area, I guess you'd call this. It's killing all the, all the enemies. You can see there's a, there was a skeleton here uh, and over there, those things too. Just killing them all and it's nicely hidden underground, but still visible. So you can see that it actually is still there. It's all just out of the way rather than just a big exposed tower in the middle of the place that everybody else seems to do. Uh, there's an upstairs, let's go upstairs. Oh, more machines, my god. Oh, so the ME crafting thing actually goes through the floor. That's how, it's very big. That's a very big crafting thing. I don't exactly know. I'm pretty sure like, each block of these stores some crafting recipes so that each sort of section has a, a pre-programmed set of recipes to build things so that you can just go to the terminal, wherever that is, and just pick something you want and it will know how to craft it. But each one's going to be stored in there. So the bigger that is, the more things it can craft, I think. I'm not exactly sure how they work, but um, they're very cool to look at anyway. I like the, mul the, mul the multi-block things. And look at this. This looks impressive, doesn't it? All these cables and tubes and things. And I've got some tanks over here too, it looks like. These things are storing the resident ender and the, uh, and the melted redstone, or whatever that is. And over here is another spare room to build in later, I guess. Oh, with an access point. So he's actually already expanding the Wi-Fi points, whatever they are, um, so he can access his storage and ME crafting things all over the house from all the different base stations. Very cool, very cool indeed. Uh, let's go to the door. Uh, oh, they wouldn't let me in. Never mind, or let me leave even though I was trapped forever. But there we go, and that is Tech It 15 something something. 1564 house. But he also owns a lot of land around here. See, there's a farming area over there, a little thing sludge and mining stuff over there. What is this? I haven't seen this one before. This looks like a mob spawner, if I, if I recognize one correctly. Oh, a tower. So much cool stuff. I haven't been to this one before. This is, this is new to me. I assume this is still claimed by him. Yes, it is. It's still all Tech It. This is a very similar design to the one he had in his old base, so he's just recreated something very similar. Uh, seems to work, so I don't see why not. Um, no reason why not to do that. What happened over there? Oh my lord, I have no idea what this was. It's just dirt exploded all over the scenery. Oh my goodness, what happened here? I have never seen this happen before. What? Is this a result of like, terraforming, maybe? Maybe there's a... I'm sure there's a block that can change the biome to something else, and maybe it's... Placing down mycelium dirt over the water? I don't know, I don't know what that was. It was like an explosion from like vaults or something, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing in the map that can explode blo actual blocks like that, so I have no idea. Um, that is cool looking. Oh, how cool is that? Oh, the cyan belts and the black walls. That looks slick as anything. That is very cool, that is. And we've got a tower here with very little in it, but very cool looking. Um, oh, it's like a logicity, I think. He's got panels on the top and I guess they'll have machines in there so soon that run off the um, blue electricity. Uh, what's that over there? Oh, another crafting thing. Maybe there's a wire going to the ground that links to it. I'm not sure. Actually, is this, is this even owned by the same guy? It's a good check. Is it still Tech 8 Rose this? No, this is Wild Wolf 1X. I had a feeling and I suddenly realised it might not be him. It's not. Oh, well, I'll do it like that. This is Wild Wolf 1X. Well, we'll come back to Wild Wolf 1X when he's got more stuff to talk, because I definitely want to see his stuff. Um, I know he's a very active player, so I'm sure he'll have some very cool things to look at. Bit of a teaser here of what may come in the future. But I do like that mouse one. That is very nicely done. Very cool looking. But it's over here that I really want to look when the junk's load, finally. Um, it's, like a, it's like a road here that he's collecting all the buildings that he owns together. Maybe some of the Wild Wolves too, eventually. I'm not sure. They seem to live quickest together. This is a road going to have buildings here, and I assume here. And looks like there's going to be one here very soon, too. He's building it already. We will come back and check this out if, if more stuff turns up, because it's got to be worth it. Because if they look like anything like that, it's going to be worth coming back, definitely. But this thing here is very impressive. I know Tech gets proud of this and I'm very pleased that he spent all the time doing it. He said it took a long time getting the curvature right, but look at that bridge! That is a very nice bridge. I've tried to build bridges like this before in, in Tech It and Minecraft and stuff, and I can never ever get it right. Um, and Tech It has. This looks really nice. Very, very impressed with this bridge. Very cool looking. And of course over here, I don't know if this is Tech It as well, but he's got another mouse spawner over here. It's probably somebody else now. Who owns this? Gummy Gaming. Yes, I knew some else lived over here. So got Gummy Gaming and these places. We'll come back into all these places another time, I suppose. Um, but he lives very nearby. It's a nice looking house too. I'm not going to say that just before we go into detail, but it's a very cool looking building. Like best balcony and the... Is that snow blocks for walls? Why not? If it works, it works. And then of course there is this behemoth over here, which I think is reasonably empty at the moment. I don't know who owns it actually. Let me just check, check the claim of this as well. Holiac 011. So there's a lot of different players around here. And so I definitely want to come back here at some point, exploring everyone else's bases is. And we've got Holiac, Gummy Gaming, and Wild Wolf 1X over the, in the corner there as well. So, lots of stuff to see over here, and a very, very impressive community. You know how people often sort of build together and make their own little plots, which seems to be happening out here, actually. Is this owned by, by Tech It too? I don't know, let's have a quick check. I assumed it was, but it may not be, now thinking about it. It is, it still is, okay. 
So it looks like they haven't known little plots in different areas and sections and things. Um, but it would appear that everybody who owns a section in this particular area is very talented at building. So I look forward to seeing all the different things coming out of this, this one particular section. Um, but for now, we shall leave it here because we've seen a fair substantial amount of buildings that are very impressive buildings all around today. Um, and we'll come back to this. But there's more of these holes in the floor here, like explosions. I don't know what happened here. If you can let me know what is going on with this, 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 this mountain and stuff, please do let me know because it's a mystery. It really is quite quite strange. I really can't explain that. But but anyway, yeah, before I get distracted again. Um, if you want to get your base featured on this series, Tech It Tuesdays, be sure to hit that like button down below and comment with your Minecraft username. I'll come check out your base then. Uh, or you can go to the Tech It Tuesday teaser video, which I will link somewhere, hopefully. It's probably the beginning of the video on the bottom left. I'm not too sure. It'll be around somewhere. And um, you comment on that. I'll check that every week. And you can also go to the forums at gbuzzadventures.net and uh, click on the Tech It Tuesday thread there and I will check that one as well. But that's about it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all later.